Hi, this is Susan Love and Tara. I was going to do the love portion on the Sagittarius, and I forgot. I cut the camera off. So Sagittarius has part one, part two, and then now this is the love portion for Sagittarius. Okay. All right. Ooh, praise your partner in front of others. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. That's showing appreciation, right, and love. Stay in bed together all day and binge watch your favorite show. Okay, so if you're trying to accomplish something, you may not have time for that, you feel like. But just taking that maybe, you know, 30 minutes. That's all it takes. Go to bed earlier and get up earlier so you can do that. That's what I'm getting. Okay, rendezvous at a restaurant and pretend you're meeting for the first time. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, what are these? Undertake a long-term project together. Take your partner on a walk. All right. Okay. Love. All right, so let's see. Okay, so you did get butterflies in your other reading, so I feel like there is this transformation happening. What you want to watch out for with this energy, though, is you want to stay positive, right? And fo you're focusing on family and, uh, and foundations, probably, but you want to stay positive, okay? And uh, I feel like that's going to transform your world. What is this? Woo! Emperor. Okay. All right. So getting a handle, see, getting a handle on your emotions is going to help you be in this emperor energy, which you are. Okay. So now the last two readings, it was all about bringing that feminine energy into uh, you're doing energy. So uh, bringing in that nurturing, mothering kind of energy. Okay, so there's that. Woo! Okay, so he, you've reversed any ideas of duality. This is the devil reversed. I don't believe in the devil. What I do believe is people can harness any kinds of energy. We're all vessels of this pure source energy and then people because um, can practice different things that make it hard sometimes for them to move out of that kind of dense energy but um, whatever that is that duality thinking you've reversed it here so this could be future self so if you follow kind of the suggestions of uh, one and two video I feel like you can overturn this kind of demon energy in your mind okay all right so we're all vessels empty vessels and we can harness any energy at any time and as you practice um staying more spending more time in that neutral to positive energy that's what must manifest in the physical reality okay now what is this okay so some of you this negative focus affected your love relationship. So, okay, with someone in the past. Six of Cups is feeling nostalgic about someone from the past. Okay, so here it's a boy and a girl, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a man and a man and a girl and a girl. Okay, something like that. Not girl. Feminine energy and feminine energy. Okay. All right, so. And here is, this could be like the mirror, right? Showing through your energy the way you feel like other people uh, can be inspired to be. So being sure in your own energy and mirroring that to the world. Okay. Ooh, flowers. Okay, so that came up in the other. Uh... Okay, so. Okay. 
Yeah, if you have rose oil, right, and you dabble that on the back of your neck, or that can maybe inspire you in that feminine energy too. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that. Okay, so here you've already figured out that there's just, we're vessels for energy. And you've let go of the idea of duality. And therefore, you're in full alignment here. Okay, now. And that brings you into your power. Full power. Emperor and the magician. Now, when you're positive, this magician energy is gorgeous. All these wonderful things that you've been dreaming up manifest in its highest form. Spirit uh, adds to that. Okay, so I feel like, see, okay, that's what it's calling for. King of Cups, bringing that cup of love to wherever you go. Bringing your light to wherever you go. Okay, and, okay, the Hierophant. So this, sometimes the Hierophant represents like, uh, government old structures and things like that okay so what what about it okay so what you want to do is okay so i feel okay so i'm feeling like uranus energy so you want to be forward moving leading edge leader uh think in new places and how do you do that Keep your mind clear and quiet. Sit with your heart, your loving heart, and then see what flows in. Inspired action. All right. Ooh, victory. So victory and love, what I'm getting is, it's like victory and love, right? Also, I'm getting de-stress. Use that, do that every day. Victory in love brings you victory in work. Okay. So. And then this is seeing your, your seeds come in. Okay, so it's like this. Okay. Seeing your seeds that you've planted come in, right? Okay. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is be in touch with your emotions so that you know how to shift out of it if you find yourself other than neutral to positive. And I feel like that would bring your ten of cups in, your dreams and desires. Some of you, this is a water sign, okay, that you're in love with. Okay, and some of you had a tough time together, but things are improving. That's the news. Wait a minute, what is that? Nine of cups to the ten of cups. Okay, so there's a progression. I noticed that in your readings there was a progression. So improvement on whatever was what you're trying to build. Okay, so here it is again. Nine of cups to the ten of cups. This is the, end, this is the happy ending. Okay. Okay, so spend time in how you're going to bring in the money. I feel like that's important. Do the dream work there. Okay. Now, look, this is what happens. This is what's been happening with people. Spending too much time obsessing about work and then not giving energy to your love life. Okay. So balance that out. I feel like that's a very critical and key because especially if you're trying to bring in feminine energy, you want to practice that in your everyday, right? And I feel like that will bring success. Because it was like this. So I feel like you're moving towards your loving place, lovey-dovey place. Where you love, you love life, 
you you love the world you love your partner you love your pets everything right okay so what i'm getting here is mercury right so uh it's like socializing um, having nice exchanges with people. Um, the fire that you bring is uh, in that healthy place, right? Okay, and great open-hearted communication brings you that success and victory. Thank you, Sagittarius.